This is an actual support call. The member was making t-shirts for a car show. She was asking how to put the image on the transfer twice in order to make small kids shirts. Okay, so at easygiftwizard.com, there might be an advertisement come up telling you what's coming up. You click on that, uh, just click on the button, go to the, and then the top of your menu, it says open apps. Okay, click on open apps. You see it? Okay, now down, there's one that says you agree to the agreement, and then there's three ways of using it. You just go to the guest members and unlock and click on that. And that will open up a new thing at Easy Gift Wizard. Okay, are you there? Okay. All right, what we have to do first, we've got to load to how we're going to save this. So go down to the menu screen on the bottom left, and there's a search line that says type here to search. Okay? You see it? On the bottom left of your taskbar, right on the bottom of the screen itself. Right. Snip. And then, there we go, an ampersand, and it says snip and step, and I'm going to click on it open, because that's how we do it on Windows. Okay, once this is open, then I just go back over to my original window, and I click on that. So now you and I are back together, so you click on that double axis, so that it'll make it full screen. All right. And we're going to get a blank background to begin with. That will size our screen to 8.5 by 11. Okay? So the first thing we do, we're going to click on more. And you'll see back behind my search button, it's turned white. That, okay. that put an 8.5 by 11 background on my, on my background. So it's already there. So up under clip art, click on clip art. And under the search bar, clicking it. And the, what we wanted was a 69 muscle bar, right? Uh -huh. Just type in 69 and press enter. And our first one should be the car. Okay, now just click on it. And that will load into the search bar in the corner. You see? Okay. All right. Now, our, our image here is 8.5 by 11. All right? So, if you want two on here, you're going to grab this little corner and take it to approximately half of the page. You want to have a border around it, so don't go quite half the page. And then just drag it down. Depending on what text you want to put above or below it. And then just click off side of the screen so that it, it gets rid of all the tools around it. And you're going to bring it up again. Tell me when you're there. Right? So now just hit more and it's still there, you see? Click on clip art because you want it to come in as clip art. So click clip art and then just don't do anything else. Just go back over and clip on the car again. You can, drag, you can just drag him right over the top of this one. And he's... But drag him so he's approximately the same size as the other one. And then pull him back over where you want him to be. Okay. But there he is. That's how you do two. Now you just do four the same way, only just make them smaller. Got it? I'll do it on my demo here. I'm just going to make him a little...
So now you can size four of these on here just by duplicating what you just did and adding your text and so on. You know how to add the text? Okay. All right. So you so you'll type. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, you mean? Okay. So just click on your first car and, mm -hmm. and make him approximately the size you want. But you want to flip him the other way? Okay, so uh, when when he's selected, you click on him, then the active, it'll say active photo one or photo two, whatever it is, over on the active bar. You can use those tools to, to turn him, okay? See the little arrow? Okay, when you click on the object, these active tools at the left, you see it changes. Click on the other one and it says photo one or two or three, and it'll change when you click on the other one, see? So that's telling you which, which photo has the those active tools are for. Will that help you? So if you want the car as big as you can on the t-shirt, just do one per copy to have it huge big for a guy shirt, you know? Does that make sense? So for that, you just bring it up, bring the car up, fill the entire background, or once, you, once your background's established, you can choose him as a background, and I'll show you how to do that if you want. The way you would do that is you'd just, uh, you'd, you'd uh, choose him. But you'd hit background first. So you bring him up. You do the search for the clip art and bring up the car. Then you click on backgrounds and click on him. And that will make him, it'll make him fill it as big as he can be. The, but the size of your, there, you only do that if you're not going to put anything else on there because there's no edges to this. You know, it'll just be in the center of your eight and a half by eleven. It won't be the paper itself won't be eight and a half by eleven. Okay, you're welcome. And the call's ended, but we're going to look at this another way. Go to backgrounds. We're going to choose a backdrop. I'm just going to go down and choose a white backdrop to resize this background. Uh, these are all eight and a half by eleven. So now my background's eight and a half by eleven again. I'll go back to clip art. I'm just going to type in cars this time, or car, and search for this a different way. And so by typing in car and hitting enter, it's going to bring up the cars, not just that specific car. And I'm going to go down and find the the car, and I'm going to drag it to the full size of the screen on an eight and a half by eleven background. And so there we go. I'll center it. I'm going to click off the image to get rid of the uh, active object menu. All right, so let's just say that I wanted a different background on this, so I'll go back to more. I'm going to go to backgrounds, and I'm going to click uh, I like this one right here. So now I'm going to print this. Uh, I can add some text if I wanted to. So uh, I... and let's get a different kind of font on this. I'm going to make it active to do so. Looks good. Drag it the size we want. Now let's 
rotate it. All right, there we go. Now to print this then, I'm going to go Alt and Tab and tab over to Snip and Sketch. And now Snip and Sketch is ready with the image behind it. I'm going to come here and snip now. Okay, so there it is ready. I'm gonna come up to the corner here and I just drag this across the part that I want to save or print. There it is. And now it's saved it into Snip and Sketch. All right, so there it is in Snip and Sketch. I can save the file. I can share the file. I can come over here and I can print the file. And there you go.